Ugh, Emma, seriously? You're the absolute worst. I mean, I can't even believe I agreed to live near you. It's like a never-ending nightmare. Should have made it crystal clear to Elliot that I wanted to be far, far away from you, but closer to my parents. But no, here I am, stuck with you. Oh, well, hello there. What's the matter now, Anna? What terrible thing have I done to deserve this melodramatic outburst? Please, enlighten me before we dive into this nonsensical drama. Oh, please don't even try to play innocent. You think you're so clever making a duplicate key to our house without even bothering to ask me. And then, oh my gosh, using the key whenever you pleased? Barging into our home uninvited? Who does that? Huh? Are you serious? Dead serious. While your precious son and I were out, you took it upon yourself to sneak in and do whatever you wanted. It's like you deliberately are trying to mess with me. I mean, come on, Emma. Who else would bother me? There's no one. We've only been married for two weeks and you're already starting to pick on me. Wow, congratulations. You really are the absolute worst. Can you please calm down a little? First, tell me when all this supposedly happened. And why on earth would you think I'm the one who made a duplicate key and invaded your house while you guys were out? Why are you trying to play dumb with me? This all just happened today. I'm not sure why you come over here all the time and what you're trying to do, but every time we go out, we come home and things in our room and the living room are misplaced. Looks like this can only be done by one person and that's you. We all know it. Well, all day today. I've been downtown at work. Huh? My normal week consists of me having to work Monday through Friday and having the weekends off. I get plenty of holidays as well and sometimes amassed to travel out of state for work. That's the kind of schedule I have working for this company. I thought you were just a part-timer. No, I'm working full-time, actually. And my time in the office is usually from 8 to 4. And today was no different. I had to be at work by 8. And then I wasn't home until around 5. And I only got around an hour for lunch which isn't enough time for me to come all the way to your guys' house and do anything there. Huh? Trying your hardest to blame someone without any evidence is not okay, Anna. Next time I'd like you to be a bit more careful, okay? Emma, what's wrong with you? Isabel, what is it today? The food that I made for dinner today. You came in and threw it in the trash on purpose. That's so messed up of you. Can you please explain to me what happened this time that makes you think it was me? I'm talking about what you did during the day. I know you were waiting for us to be out of the house, and then came inside with that duplicate key to go through our fridge. And the food that I made for us to have for dinner today was all sitting in the trash can outside. You threw it all away, didn't you? So this happened today, huh? Today is a Saturday, so you can't try and use being at work as an excuse to me. I bet you're the kind of wife that thinks it's okay to serve up frozen dishes to your family. And when you heard about me making my own fresh dishes for your son, you became jealous and wanted to have a reason for tossing it in the trash. I bet you're going to tell me that it tasted bad, and that'll be your excuse. This time, you're the freaking worst. Well, I'll have you know, Isabel, that since yesterday evening, I've been out of the state and have been on my way to Colorado for a conference. Huh? Actually, I had to leave right after work yesterday, so I haven't been home for the last 36 hours or so. And I've been out of town for the last 24 hours or so on my way to the conference. So I'm sorry to say this, but I haven't had the time to come over to your place to do that today. Nor have I even been in the same state. Huh? I'm sure that you thought because today was Saturday, I wouldn't have work and could come over to your house. But I'm not in town right now. So you cannot keep trying to blame me for whatever happened to that food you cooked up for dinner. Um, is that so? So if you're worried about having someone coming into your home all the time and doing these things, then maybe put up some security cameras. Then you should be able to catch the person responsible. Now, I'll be going. Mom, do you have a second? How's it going, Elliot? Well, 
I have something to ask you. What's up? I feel that a couple of days ago, you may have been contacted by Anna about something having happened to the food she had made for dinner that night. You were talking about last Saturday, right? She did, in fact, text me about something to do with her food. But what's happened now? Since when? Once again, her cooking was tossed in the trash. Today. Seriously? And once again, she's back at it, trying to blame you for doing this to her. She's telling me that last time you did a good job running away from her. But she knows that when we're out of the house, you come inside and taste her cooking to see if it's good enough for me or not. She still thinks it's me. Well, I'm sorry to say this, but I'm out of the state again today. Wait, is that true? Just after getting back from Colorado over the weekend, the company had me sent back out to another conference, but this time in Wyoming. There have been a lot of things going on within the company's world, and so I've been out of the state since last Friday and probably won't be home until this Friday. What about Dad? Ever since he retired from his job, he's been home quite a lot, right? Well, your dad told me that since I'm not around the house for a whole week, that he's back in New York at his dad's house, helping take care of him while he visits. And he won't be coming back home until the day after I get back from Wyoming, which will be this Saturday. So, in other words, neither you or dad have been in town since last Friday then? That's right, Elliot. I'll be back in town by Friday. Assuming there aren't any unexpected detours or additional stops I have to make along the way. Ah, got it. Okay then. So, we've established the timeline. Two more days were added to the wait. I think I'm going to take this opportunity to take a breather and really think things through. It's been quite a whirlwind lately. But don't worry, I'll reach out to you again later once I've gathered my thoughts. Sounds good, Elliot. Take all the time you need. Rest and reflection can work wonders. And hey, if you have any more questions or need further clarification about anything, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm here to help and provide answers whenever you need them. Thank you, Emma. I appreciate your willingness to assist. I'll definitely keep that in mind. All right, then. I'll catch up with you later. Take care for now. Oh my, oh my. What? Anna, it seems that I ended up in a pretty awkward spot just a second ago and saw some things. I just saw the two of you run off in a panic outside, and I just wanted to know if everything was okay there? I hope that the two of you are being careful right now, since you're out in public in the nude. Why? Why have you come all the way home already? From what I heard from Elliot, you're not supposed to be back in town until Friday, which means you shouldn't be home until tomorrow, right? Why are you home so early? Well, that conference that I went to ended up ending earlier than expected, so I was able to come back home a day earlier. But Anna, I want to ask you, why have you been over at my house all day without me around? Relaxing and treating the place as if it's your own? And not just relaxing, but fooling around with a man I've never seen before. You do realize that this house is the home of your husband's mother and father, right? And you have been in it while we've been gone? Doing what exactly? Look, Emma, I, I have something to say. Oh, here we go again, Anna. I can only imagine what nonsense you're about to spew. This better be good. This is not nonsense, Emma. It's about time someone confronts you about your behavior. You've been so quick to accuse me of sneaking into your house. But let me tell you something. I've seen you waiting for the perfect moment. The moment when you and your husband are conveniently away to slip into our home uninvited. What the hell were you thinking? Excuse me? Are you seriously trying to turn this around on me? I can't believe the audacity you have to accuse me of such things. Oh, spare me the fake indignation, Emma. I've had enough of your false innocence. You've been playing mind games with me since day one. You've made my life miserable with your constant presence and invasive actions. Mom, what happened to Anna? Oh my, so it seems that you finally made it back home from work then? I want to know what's happening with you guys. When I try speaking with Anna about you guys, 
She started to freeze up and did not want to talk to me anymore. And as of right now, she's locked herself in our room and won't come out to talk to me. Oh my. Oh my. I wonder if I went a little too far. <laughs> I'm being very serious about this right now, Mom. When I got home, I saw that her clothes were thrown all over the place. And they're wet? Right. She must have found some place outside to get changed back into her clothes, then before making it back to your place. What the hell are you talking about? I don't really want to think about what she could have done, but if you really have been picking on her and this is another part of it, I might have to say goodbye to you forever, Mom. Elliot, I know that it's your job as her husband to trust everything she says and does around you, but I just want you to know if you have it in yourself to doubt her for one second and have the will to look deeper into what she's been doing. Really, start to think about if she's a trustworthy wife after all. So, to start, please look around and see if you can find anything about her that's not quite right. Huh? What? Is it actually something going on that I don't know about? You know, Elliot, there's something you should be aware of when it comes to Anna. It's unfortunate, but there's something about her that should definitely raise some doubts. I think it's time for you to seriously consider your relationship with her and question her loyalty to you. Wait, what are you talking about, Emma? What could possibly make you say that? Look, Elliot, I don't want to cause any unnecessary drama or hurt, but I feel like you deserve to know the truth. Can you come over to my house right away? I know it might not be the most convenient time for you, but I have some things here I really need to tell you and show you. I believe it will help you gain a better understanding of what's been going on with her. Well, alright. I can make some time. Just give me a few minutes to wrap up what I'm doing and I'll head over to your place. Mom, I have to admit, I'm a bit lost for words right now. This whole situation with Anna has caught me off guard. But before anything else, I want to say thank you. When you showed me that image of the man she's been spending time with, something about him felt familiar. And now it's all come back to me. He's actually her ex-boyfriend. That's right, Elliot. Anna's ex-boyfriend. It's quite a revelation, isn't it? Yeah, it definitely is. I never expected this twist. But now that I have this information, I think it's time for me to dig deeper and find out more about him. I want to understand the full picture and what his involvement means for Anna and our relationship. Take your time, Elliot. It's important to gather all the facts and make informed decisions. If you need any assistance, or if there's anything else you want me to look into, just let me know. I'm here to support you. Thanks, Mom. I appreciate it. I have a feeling I'll be needing your help again soon. There's still so much I need to uncover and process, but for now, let's stay in touch and keep each other updated. I'll definitely reach out if there's anything else I need assistance with. Absolutely, Elliot. We'll stay connected, and I'll be right here whenever you need me. Remember, you're not alone in this. We'll figure it out together. Emma, what the hell? Have you told Elliot? He's asking me to divorce him right now. Oh my, perhaps I should be explaining this to you a bit more so that you have a better understanding of why this is. Well, I shouldn't have to explain anything to you because you should be well aware of what you did to cause all this. Well, but ever since this happened, Elliot hasn't said anything about it to me. And actually, I thought as my husband, he would have believed what I was saying about you over what you said to him. If only you would come back on the day you told us you'd be back, none of this would ever be happening to me. And had you just listened to what I had told you, you would have never had tried to blame me for picking on you all those times when someone else was in your house. But now that I think about it, you were only blaming me so that Elliot would look away from you cheating on him and be focused on trying to get answers from me. What? To put it this way, I'm sure that you've been giving that man that you've been sleeping with a duplicate key to our house. And that he's been the one going in there and messing around. But you've wanted to keep that fact hidden from Elliot. 
So you blame me for it? Trying to get Elliot to think the same thing. But remember, I have rock solid evidence of me not being in town or being at work. Whenever you accuse me of being the one in your house. So Elliot never has a reason to doubt me. And only has further reason to doubt you. Um, what? You know what I'm talking about, Anna. And even if you say you don't, we all know what's been happening. And that you are the only one that none of us can trust. I'm sure that those times you blamed me for throwing away your dishes, it's really been the man you sleep with eating them whenever he comes over to fool around with you. And you do your best to hide that from Elliot by making up a quick dish before he comes home from work. What's funny though, is the last time you tried blaming me, it wasn't your cooking that your secret man ate, but the cooking that Elliot had prepared in advance for the dinner that he ate that time. You had no idea what the recipe was for Elliot's meal. And so you had no way of covering up what had happened, right? Uh, I didn't think actually that Elliot could ever cook like that. And that's why things began to fall apart really badly with your lies. Because you said that I threw away the dish you cooked. Even though that time it was Elliot's dish. But it's not like it would have mattered anyway. Considering that even if it was your cooking and you tried to blame me for it, I still had evidence that I was not in town and not even in the state during that time. Uh, why were you not around during that time? Stop trying to complain about me, please. The only person you should be complaining about now is yourself. But even after everything I've said about what's going to happen to you, you still seem to not want to apologize for it. What are you trying to say? It's already a very bad thing that you've been cheating on my son with another man. But the fact that while I've been gone out of state, as well as while my husband's been gone out of state, you took the duplicate key to my house from Elliot, and you went into my house uninvited to finally have a place where you can make love to this unknown man without there being anyone around the place to see you. But right as you both got heated up in my house, I came back home a day earlier than expected. And it's because of me being home early that I was able to see you on top of that man on my couch. Right as I walked in through the front door, and as soon as you both saw me come in, you both bolted out of the house with your clothes in hand and fully naked. Uh. Honestly, you are such a freaking whore. Well, what do you want me to do about it? Right now I'm so worried about everything that's going on that I can't even think straight enough to try and lie about what happened. I'm sure that after seeing how Elliot wants to leave you now, you're starting to realize there is no way out of this now. Well, I don't want to get a divorce, though. He's even telling me that he's going to get a settlement from me now. I know that he's going to be allowed to get that settlement because he has so many reasons to get it from me. Yeah, that's right. Ah, and by the way, as for you breaking into my house uninvited, as well as you having sex on my bed, all the furniture and eating a lot of the food in my house, I'm going to be asking for around $15,000 from you and your secret partner to pay for me to get brand new furniture and restock my fridge and wine cellar. $15,000? You have to understand that my furniture was not cheap and the bed especially was specially crafted for my husband and I. Since we both have trouble sleeping and he has a bad back that requires a very high quality mattress. It was so nice finally being able to get that mattress and all the nice bedding a year ago. And now it's been ruined by you. I'm so upset. It really did feel amazing having sex on this bed. And now I know why. You must have been going at it with him for a long time. And I can tell that by how wrinkled all the bedding is, even after a few days. But I've been thrown all the bedding out by now. And we will have to wait a whole week for any furniture and bedding to arrive. Now, with all of that... Huh? Isabel... I'm aware that you don't have a good standing with your parents right now and might not be able to go home to them. Well, I think Elliot and I are going to do the same thing and cut ties with you and never let you in our lives again. So please hurry up and sign those divorce documents and then pay whatever needs to be paid by you. Wait, right now? I'm not working a job and I don't have the money to pay. What should I do? 
Well, if you're in a pickle, think about how to get out of it yourself. But I'm saying that I don't know what to do right now. I'm going now. What? For crying out loud, I'm asking you to help me, Emma. After that, all the messages from Isabel began to really get on my nerves. And as for my son, who was back living with us at our house for a while, his phone was the same, being blown up by messages from her. So to stop her from ever causing us any sort of annoyance ever again, we both blocked her number. Following that, we also worked on selling the house that Elliot was living in with her, since it had been spoiled by her and her secret man. Elliot was also able to get a decent settlement from her not too long after selling the place, and was able to then move out of our house and into a new place on his own. And as for me, I was able to get that $15,000 I had asked for, and was able to get all new furniture and bedding. Things had finally calmed down for all of us after that bumpy road with Isabel. But the same cannot be said for her. For starters, her and that secret man ended up having multiple fights about money and everything and ended up breaking up. This also meant that she could not stay in his small apartment any longer and was forced onto the street where she now calls home and has to make do. And we found out that the only way she was able to pay my son and I the money we asked for was through her parents, who already didn't like her. So after receiving their generosity like that, she was forced to start working day and night to pay them back all that money she took from them by the end of the year. But of course, the end of the year is only two months away now. And so for her to be able to pay all of that money back to her parents, she might really need to step up the pace and just forget about ever having free time or enough time to sleep. 